Can I marry to a United States citizen or a long-term permanent or lawful permanent resident while on a tourist visa in the United States? I'm attorney Pandeli. We're here at Alien Attorney Law Offices. And the short answer to that is yes, you can marry. And so getting married and receiving immigration benefit, those are two separate categories and two separate uh, law bodies. Uh, now that being said, one might have consequences into the other and so how you get married and when you get married has an impact on your immigration consequences and so at the very least you want to do it right we've had many people that get married within well it used to be 30 days then 60 days and now uh, under the current administration 90 days and then uh, because they were married with this w w within this initial time frame uh, the government uh, tends to consider these types of marriage petitions or green card marriage petitions as fraudulent and so then you have to you have to advocate that no this was not you know fraudulently entered into marriage and so uh, one of the things you want to be really careful about is to avoid getting married too soon after coming to the United States the reason for that is because when you first got your visa when you went to the embassy uh, you told the official that your intention was to come to the United States and stay for a short period of time and then return. And so this is, and then this visa was given to you. This visa is what's called a non-immigrant intent visa. Now, the moment you cross the United States and you speak to the, uh, to the official at the, at, at the port of entry, you know, the officer that stamped your passport, and you, you further declare that, you know, you're, you're here uh, you know, on a temporary situation, on a temporary visa. Uh, so you've certified twice at this point that you intend to return to, to the country. Now, if you come and you get married, uh, that changes your intent. Because getting married to a U.S. citizen, or at the very least, a resident, a lawful permanent resident, uh, shifts your intention, uh, or at least it is perceived as a shifted intention uh, in the eyes of, uh, of USCIS. And so it's very important to be careful when you, you get married. At, at the very least, uh, contact an attorney before you get married. That's the best thing you can do is contact an immigration attorney before you get married. So that way, not only do you navigate through this kind of issues, which a lot of you might not even know, uh, but also you, you get the benefit and the advice of doing the ceremony and doing the process in a way that improves and helps with your immigration case. Because anything you do in life, uh, when it comes to your immigration case, has an impact, you know, so any, anything you do in your marriage has an impact on your immigration case. And so it's really important to set that up right in a way that when it comes to you receiving a benefit, you have maximum exposure to get that benefit. Thank you for watching.